The Waleisho Inka Center for Investigative Journalism has held its 13th media lecture series in Lagos. Panelists pointed out deep issues bothering Nigeria and preferred suggestions on how to deal with them. Jacinta Obiuku was there. At a time Nigeria is facing many socio-economic and security challenges, discussions like this one are considered necessary to help the country recalibrate. It's the 13th Wolosho Inca Center Media Lecture Series with the theme, Remaking Nigeria Towards a Secure and Viable Union. Part of the conversation by the panelists is on a community-based model for basic education, the rule of law, oil economy, and Nigerians' unity. Common Nigerians don't no longer have access to quality basic education. Most of our kids are on the floor, on the ground, under the shade of trees, cold school. We have created a system that entrenches economic mediocrity. Mediocrity in economic governance. That the only thing the politicians, the political class can think of is more crude oil. They don't know how to produce. They don't know how to encourage production. The reckless violation of the rights of Nigerians on a daily basis, it is most shameful that this is coming under a government that pretends to be progressive. Many press statements, no press conference. What does that mean? It means that we have not had any avenue to ask our president questions. He has just told us things that he wants to tell us, and we have to deal with them, go figure them out, go search them out. But he does not sit down for Nigerians to ask him, Mr. President, can you answer us about the issue? A senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falanos, shares his view on media freedom. They have just approved a budget of 4.8 billion to the security forces to monitor your telephone conversation, your WhatsApp, and so that when you are communicating with your friend or your, or your political ally, and they say the message is general, you are going to be arrested. And I am, no, I'm saying, have no fear, we are going to go. The panelists prefer possible solutions to Nigerians' problems. All of those mechanisms, legislations that had made the center the ultimate and sole controller of national resources need to be dismantled. The battle to rescue or revive the soul of our nation lies squarely with the Nigerian people because the National Assembly has become a national embarrassment. The lecture series double as the celebration of the Nobel laureate, Woloshe Inka's birthday. The distinguished Nigerian is celebrating his 87th birthday on June the 13th. Jacinta Ubiuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.